just going to put the milliput onto the wire which has been put on here to recreate the coastals on this mastiff so it's quite a big dog uh, I'll probably use a packet, packet and a half on this one uh, I've already just mixed half a packet up and got that ready for the first three or four ribs I, I usually make little sausages and then put these over the wire and then just mould it round get a nice finish on it you can spend as spend quite a bit of time on this if you want if you want to really rake it in cold weather like we've got in England at the moment which is winter it's about three degrees four degrees outside this will stay workable for about three hours uh, it does go off a bit quicker in summer when it's warm but you can leave it quite a while before you uh, smooth it off you can just go straight on and but it's a good product and uh, I'll, I like to use the white one which is the fine the fine grade I think mainly because not only is it um, finer and smoother but also it's a, it's a nice colour you've cut it often if you cartilage recreated it'll quite often be grey I think there's a product called epoxy sculpt which is the same but different and I don't think the grey just looks quite as nice do not blend in colour wise as nice as the uh, as the white one of course they the, could paint this so you could use a different coloured um, half the price of this one but then obviously you'd have a, a green cartilage on your animals so you, you'd probably have to pay that. so i think yeah it's probably easier to just buy the buy the white in the first place it just saves you uh, messing about so just popping push pushing this on when I get round to these you'll see maybe a little bit better what's happening I'm filming on a tablet so it's uh, just rested up on the end wall at the moment so there we go with the first four I've not really gone mad to smooth them out yet I'll do that in a minute when I've got this packet on Hiya, um, as YouTube. So if I say hello to people who are down there on the uh, watching list on YouTube, that's the reason. I'm recording it for YouTube as well because you can keep it, just saves it onto your channel. And people have been asking for different things today on the Instagram live. I kind of wish I'd done it on the YouTube live now. <clears throat>
Hi, hey, Iran Vet. I'll move that around a bit because I'm filming for YouTube as well, so the angle's probably better on the YouTube one. So that's the epoxy clay going on to recreate the coastals. So this is cartilage that's uh, been during the cleaning process. So just a little, uh, little pot of water. And once you've got a few on, you can smooth that out. Hiya Violet. And unusually for me, I normally only really build for myself, but this one is not for me. Not that I'm going to do anything any different, but uh, I think usually when you do it for yourself, you, you think, ah, oh, that'll do. Bad cartoons. Hiya. How bad are the cartoons? This is what we want to know. Are you a cartoonist? Or do you just watch bad cartoons? This is a Tibetan Mastiff. So just to explain to YouTubers, I'm talking to people randomly, it's uh, live on my uh, Instagram as well. Which if you subscribe to my YouTube, but not my Instagram, if you look me up on Instagram, it's a skeleton, Yorkshire Skeleton Museum. So Yorkshire.skeleton.museum. And that's where I post pictures of the finished skeletons. Wedge something behind it. Move the angle up a little bit. That's better. Tragic oddities. That sounds very tragic. I'm sure it's not. So here we go around with the just moulding it round the wire. So I've got for this size of dog I'm using one and a half mil galvanized steel wire for the recreating the coastals. That's just drilled into the rib, drilled into the sternum, um, and just for extra security, it's super glued in there. 
with the ribs being very soft inside you can cut the uh, you can cut the wire on an angle I've got a spare rib I'll, I'll show you what I mean so you only need to do a tiny a tiny little hole so if you drill into the end of the rib then when you when you cut your wire to recreate your coastal if you cut it on a an angle so cut it on quite a steep angle like that rather than flat I'll try and get a good cut on that one for you so uh, which ends my camera I'll show it on the YouTube one so what you can see it kind of puts a, a, a point on it rather than just a flat end and then the this this one you can go in so that's the depth of the drill so what I normally do is just a little spot of glue on there I'm not going to glue this I'm going to take the wire out but once the you put the glue on push that home but then if you push it a little bit further you'll find you can get that see that's my thumb I've not slid it down the wire that's actually gone in further than I drilled um, it just grips in so and that one you can see has gone in deeper than the the drill so that's the way that I attach it to the ribs Ariane, the um, YouTube channel for this one is Skeleton Museum. So the uh, Brick Jedi is for my Lego building. So that's a separate channel for the Lego. So if you like Lego, go on to my, uh, my other Instagram, which is Brick Jedi. And the instagram is brick jedi too i mean also so it it is also brick jedi so if you search youtube users for brick jedi and uh, you should find me on there So I'm just working on this side at the moment, as you can see it from there. I'll lift that up and give you a little peep. So you can see with, with just the wire on, it's quite th thin and not really, it's structural and it, it's uh, had strength to the skeleton, but when you put the epoxy clay on it just makes the skeleton look more complete again I use the just an upturned box uh, you can just slot it between the vertebra and rest the pelvis on the other end it makes for quite a secure mount for holding your spine while you work on it back on the water to smooth these out you've got to be mindful as well that your skeletons are viewed from all angles so you can get a nice line on one view but you may not necessarily look as good from another view so sometimes it's worth just stepping back from it and looking at it from different angles and you can adjust the clay accordingly right then so I need a new packet of milliput now
so this I'll mix up and I'm thinking for this I'm going to need about half a packet at least so it's a two part because it's epoxy it's in two parts so you mix both parts together that starts a chemical reaction and the chemical reaction is what cures the is what cures the product so equal measures so just marked it off there look just peel that back till I get to that mark hi Steve so we, we, we've got the two parts which we just need together and this it can take a few minutes doing this the more thoroughly it's mixed obviously the better it's it's gonna cure it's gonna cure more evenly you don't want parts with no hardener in if you've got the the putty but no hardener then the putty's not gonna go not gonna go off it's not gonna cure So I'll knead it, I'll just roll sausages and then bend and break and bend and break and then roll and knead again. If you do do buy this product, it's uh, come, it comes structure which I don't know where it is, I've just thrown it on the floor I think. But yeah, you, you get full instructions with it. Still had a bit left over from the last batch, so I'm just going to mix that in. How do you know? Um, well, basically, when you arrange them, you, you've you've got clues. So you've got the size, the angle, the curve, the thickness, and then you've also got the the. I'll just grab a couple of ribs and show you the difference. So the the distance between the end and this part that touches onto the vertebra so the, that distance is different so it changes as the ribs go backwards so you've got two different ones two different things that you can measure from and as always if you build uh, when you when you're building a skeleton if you you offer your rib up dry before you before you uh, drill it or pin it or glue it or however you fix in the rib and if it feels right and looks right then you can obviously go ahead and do it if it's if it doesn't feel right it's probably wrong and then with some animals as well like this one this is a really good one to show actually because if you look down the back of the ribs it's easy to see in person with this light, but you'll see there's like um, a flat, so there's like a facet on the rib. So on that one, it's quite small. On the next one, it's a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. So that line, you can see there's like a ridge on the ribs and that line is a nice smooth line. So if uh, if it, if you had one out of order, it would really stand out. So you can see as well by the the front ones are straighter than the back ones, which really curve. So the back ones are quite curved, but the front ones are quite straight. So there's a lot of little there's a lot of little uh, differences between them. And again, with experience, you can. So that was a question about the um, ribs. So explained sorting earlier. You getting stuck 
trying to get the right of your ribs. You'll find a video on there that's, I think it's entitled Sorting the Ribs. And it is literally just showing you how to sort the ribs into the correct order. You can't see on the YouTube, I'm just rolling, rolling sausages on the on the bench here. I'll put that back down actually, then you can see that. I'll move my tripod to the other side. That's better. Um, House tricks. <laughs> yeah.